Hi, I'm Ice and I'm new to digital planning. I used to collect planners year after year. I buy or I collect a Starbucks planner which costs around $6 to $20. You know, these things pile up and accumulate dust. Eventually I have to throw them away, which is not exactly environmentally friendly. So I wanted to move everything to digital. This is my latest Starbucks planner. So it's very simple. It has a weekly view and a notes view. Basically what I wanted to look for at first was just a digital version of this one. I looked into several apps and finally narrowed it down to two, which is GoodNotes 5 and the Ultimate Pencil Bundle. I bought this pencil bundle because it was on sale at around just $5 and it contains three apps already, the Pencil Calendar and Planner, Pencil Journal, and Pencil To-Do List. So I'll take you through each app later on. And let me start by sharing with you the pencil calendar and planner. At first, I was just looking for a simple planner, just really a digital version of my Starbucks planner. And I think this is a good planner for people who just want to plan. There's a ready template, there's no customization. It has a monthly, weekly, and daily view. And these are the tools that you can use. You can put images, you can put handwritten notes, highlights, you can also select using the lasso tool so you can copy, delete, or move it around. There's also the top priorities, to-do list, the meal plan, and the weekly view has the habit tracker. This is a continuous calendar, so one purchase will last you for a long, long time. The limitations though include no image cropping function. So you can import an image, you can resize it, but that's it. You cannot trace the outline to remove the background. And there's limitation in terms of resizing. It can only go this far. Even though the months, weeks, and days are linked together, what you write on the other page won't exactly show up in the other page. So you have to manually write it out. And there's no convert to text capability. You can select something, you can duplicate it but it won't convert to text, so it would be hard for you to do a search. And you can update the app icon to match the theme. You can export and import data. It's all locally stored. Your data is secure, but there's no way to access your notes from other devices. So if you're just gonna get one app, just the Pencil Calendar Pro, it's at around $3. And if you get the bundle, it's around $5. I'll show you the other bundled apps, starting with the Pencil To Do. I initially wanted a To Do Master List rather than taking note of them on a daily basis. So here you have different categories. You can select multiple tasks, mark them when complete, and filter the complete and pending tasks. Moving on to the pencil journal, it's a digital diary for gratitude and freestyle thought expression. Similar to pencil calendar, you can add pictures, illustrations, and handwritten notes. Here you can use the convert to text function, though there's still no search capability. For the freestyle background, you can choose between dotted, lined, or blank pages. Now, if you want to level up and customize your planner, GoodNotes is good for you. It uses notebooks for organization, and you can have multiple notebooks with personalized covers, and there are several templates available online. I'm using this monthly, weekly template, and I can duplicate the pages easily to create a new entry. I also added trackers for habits, chores, and even my videos for easier monitoring. You can add pages to your notebook, and GoodNotes has ready templates you can use. They also have a monthly and weekly template. Unlike the other app, you can trace the images you add here. Just use the freehand crop tool. You just have to complete the action in one stroke. There are different pens, fountain, ball pen, and brush pen, where you can adjust the pressure sensitivity. Then, there's the lasso tool for easy selection. To easily decorate my notes, I compiled my sticker collection using this template from K Digital Studio. You can easily navigate the pages through the hyperlinks, and this is the collection I have so far. I can use the lasso tool to trace my chosen sticker, then copy-paste it onto my planner. The good thing here is even if the notes are handwritten, the app recognizes the text and it's easily searchable. The disadvantage though is you need to make time to customize your template. And despite its variety of tools, I'm actually hoping there's a watercoloring brush, just like this one from Tayasui Sketches. 
and layers for easier notes distinction. You also cannot add hyperlinks inside the app, so you'll need to configure that beforehand. GoodNotes is priced at around $8, so with the variety of what I can do, I think it's a good buy. In summary, if you're looking for a simple, no fuss, and affordable planner, I'd recommend Pencil Calendar. On the other hand, if you want more customization, you can't go wrong with GoodNotes. I would especially like to thank Saturday Gift, K Digital Studio, Elena Studies, and FreePick for these free downloadables. I'll place their links below. After this, I'll customize my 2021 calendar using this downloadable template from Liz Kohler Brown. So stay tuned for my next Plan With Me video. If you're thinking of starting digital planning, I hope my review helped you. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching!